up guys welcome to fire's channel and if you're just getting started with video for reviews i want you guys to make sure you're watching this video till the end because this video is just gonna put you through the introductory of a thing through how you can use the video for every and um this is actually video for reviews four and um, there is this latest video for reviews so i want you guys to make sure you're watching this video till the end and i will put you through on how you can get started with the video for every so this is actually a basic tutorial for those who are getting started with the video for every and i want you guys to make sure you're subscribing to my channel because i upload much of cast tutorial and um i upload architectures and um, civil engineering content too so i want you guys to make sure you're watching this video and subscribing to my channel so the first thing we're actually going to be getting started with is just to open a normal <laughs> revit and um you know just open the architectural template so while we're waiting for it to open itself you know guys um view forever is just like um a rendering um software what will i call it it's just like a rendering um software that we install on our system in order to enhance the way we install the way we render most of our 3d scenes so um, um the very forever is just like an an external um what will i call it it's just like an external rendering software that you install to your system which works along with Revit. So let's just try to to create something. Let's just try to create a, a simple thing. Let's just try to create the wall and then um, let's just you know just to do that um in case of of anything I want I wanna actually show you. So let's just say we are drawing a wall like like that and then um, let's just go to the to the 3D channel. So if this is the 3D, when you actually install the V for Revit into your system, you can actually see along this um bars that we have where we have the architecture, the structure, the inside, the annotations and all those things. You can actually see we have the V there. So the first thing I tell you to do is to make sure that um this um I don't know what to call it, this is it a ribbon. So just make sure it is clickable. So the moment you install it on your system, you're actually gonna be seeing this on your system. So just make sure you're clicking on it and um you know this thing is accessible accessible for you. Accessible for you. So the first thing you actually need to do is to acquire the license for the viewer. So the first thing you actually need to do is to come here to switch on is acquire license, right? Acquires a very license and unlock the video too but that is just what it it does so the first thing is just to make sure you're clicking on it's just you know just double click on the um, acquire license so we just have to wait for for the tools to you know to activate you know to activate itself so let's just wait for for it to work and um Let's wait for Revit to do its thing. <laughs> so I want you guys to make sure you're subscribing because I can see you right there, Steven. I know you've not subscribed to my channel and I know you really want to do that, but you forgot to do it. So just make sure you're subscribing to my channel down below. Make sure you click on the bell icon also so that whenever I post a latest tutorial, you will get notified for, for the tutorial. I think it's taking a much longer of time. So it, it depends on the kind of system you're actually using. It depends. Actually, it takes like um, 20 seconds for for the um, license to acquire itself. But it's, you know, it depends on the kind of system you're using and um, how powerful the system is. So what the fuck is done? So the, the first thing you actually see here is um, the current view. Where is the view you want to render? So if you should click on it, it shows if you want to to render the 3D view of a thing like this or you actually set, a, you know, after you've set your camera, you actually want to do that. So the next one here is just the render production. Like if you want to start the very production rendering, so this is where you click on. And then if you should click on this 
drop of the thing you can either either render it as the final rendering which is the render production or you can do a render interactive which allows you to get a kind of updates whenever you change the material you applied to to whatever you've modeled so it, it is just a kind of you change it and then it shows itself it activates immediately so this um rendering chaos cloud is just like um a cloud you get connected to which enhance the way if your system is not able to render fast so this um kind of um, a thing is actually good for you to use and um, then you can just export the various thing that is just it so the um show frame buffer is just whenever you want to render the things that it shows is just the the frame buffer so here yeah, if you want to increase the quality of the rendering to draft low anyhow you want to do it so the resolution is just the size of um the thing you're doing the size of the picture you want to render out if you want to change it to wide screen the square the picture landscape product if you even wanted to to just take the old region you've cropped or if you even if you want to custom it so you can set the pixels or you sent it or you set it to printer so that is that is just by going so if you actually have artificial lights in your rendering it will not work unless you on you you click on the artificial light to be on and then the viral sun is just the normal sun we have in the revit and then if you want to use the dome is when you have a kind of um hdi r the hdi r i don't know what it is h hdi r yeah the hdi r if you have um, a image or an image that is you know serves as an hdi r and if you want no light like just a black thing so the asset editor is where you have the list of your very materials the list of your very material so whenever you want to edit a, a, a material or whenever you want to change some you want to spice things up for for your materials this is where you do it and um oh i think i've clicked on something else so if you actually want to um oh i'm sorry for that guys so if you actually want to if you click on this appearance manager that is where all the old materials you've been using are located so if you create a material in revit or you create a material in vray so the material are as told here so this is where you actually click on the, on the material before you can edit them on the asset editor so the next one is um well let's just let, let's just look for the appearance manager to to show well i try to show you um the things so for for not taking much of our time without a further ado i want you guys to make sure you're subscribing to my channel just make sure you subscribe to the channel and um i will be there for you every time so this is just um the normal materials here and the mouth the posting a new tutorial on how you can set your materials with vr and how to use them and um, stuff like that so this is how it opens you have the material the objects the global override the glass and fog we're not going to be doing anything about that that will be um the next video will be uploading to the channel so let's just uh, close let's go back to revit but so the exposure or the exposure rather just to set your exposure stuff like that like setting your exposure if you wanted to to increase the sunlight all those things is going what i'm going to be showing you in the next video and then the last one is the settings the settings just the normal thing and everyone likes to set things to their taste so everyone um really want to set um well let's just change this to gpu like so here yeah, is just where you spice things up whether you want to change the renderings the render rider the environment the path and them sharing the swarm stuff like that so let's just let me just try to show you what i've been trying to say since morning so let's just go to the level one and then let's try to set a camera just to show this so if this is all you actually let's try to on some shadows and that i just like to do that and um let's try to change it to okay so if you should 
if you actually want to render or if you actually want to do some things in revit if you are on the 3d view on a view that you've created you can never have access to to this um tools here unless you come to the 3d and then you come here to to set it to um, well, let's so you come here to set it to the 3d view one or two this is just the normal 3d so you come here to set it to this so if you actually want to render it you click on render production so let's just try to create the render interactive just for you to see what i've been saying so the next one that is going to be popping up is the frame buffer the frame buffer is just like a dialogue that shows everything you've rendered like everything in your scene so this is actually video frame buffer so that's just so this is where you have it so that is this is just the basic things you actually need to know while while choosing video for it as your so let's just try to this so this is just the basic things you need to know so i want you guys to make sure you're subscribing to my channel to learn more of this tutorials and then um, we're just gonna be doing the next tutorial which i'll put you through on some things like spies and things up for you so i want you guys to make sure you're subscribing to my channel love you guys oh like i love you more than you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel love you all